Hi, my name is Hamid. Uh, I'm an ins instructor at ASM Educational Center. Today, I'm going to talk about Route 53 with weighted policy route. We covered last class, last session, last video. If you get a chance, please watch that Route 53 with a simple policy. But today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about weighted policy. So let me tell you what we have here. I have a two region. One is Northern Virginia region 10.0.0.16 and the other one is 192.160.0.0.16 Sydney region. So I have two region. In the Sydney, I have web server 1 Sydney, web server 2 Sydney, the different subnet 192.160.1.0.192.160.2.0.24 and this whole region is 192.160.0.0.16. Then here I have web server 2 one and two in the public subnet and web server three at here okay then what i did i created elastic load balance for these guys for web server two and three and here also i create elastic load balance but i just created for web server one okay now look what happened in here we will create a domain name called asm web test click i show on last video how you and i we can register domain name okay i will show you what it is then I go to Route 53 and I create a record with weight as follow. Number one, point to elastic load balance located in Virginia, 70% of time. So 70% of traffic goes to here, to Virginia web server, okay? Then number two, point to elastic load balance located in Sydney. The rest of that, 30% of the traffic goes here, okay? We will do that. Again, it's kind of it's going to be hard to show you that because every time I have to refresh it, it will not be exactly to see. Sometimes we have to be try so much, but it does work. Then when I go to type this, okay, I will get see both server one and two from Sydney, 30%. So from Sydney, you can 30%. From other guys, you're going to get what? 70%, okay? So let's go back to our browser first. Again, when I go to internet, let me go back here. So these are the routing policy that we have. You have a simple routing policy, which we cover that later on. Then one is a failover, one is geolocation, latency, we'll cover this later on in the next video. But right now I'm gonna go wait a routing policy. So let me show you what I have. When I go to EC2 Council, okay? I go first to Northern um, Virginia, which is right here, East Coast, okay? In here, as it comes up, you can see right now, I have, let me go to EC2, let me show you what I have here. I have a bunch of web servers running, web server 1, 2, and 3. Actually, I'm just using web server 2 and 3. I created all of these on the last class, so make sure you go over that. So these are the web server I have right here, okay? And then I go on the left side, I go back here. I go to load balancing. I created what? Elastic load balance, which is called Virginia Elastic Load Balance. And this is my lovely DNS name is. When I copy this, I copy that, I just want to show you that. When I paste it here, see it goes to web server 2, Virginia. When I click refresh, it goes 2 and 3. It goes between 2 and 3, okay? So that's that part. And you can see that, oops, sorry, with that, uh, let's go back to here. And I can see my instance, I have two of them. I have a two. Both of them are healthy. Yes, yes, okay. Okay. And then I have a both, Web Server 3 and that, that's inside instance. So again, I showed on the last video how to do, all you have to say, create load balance and go classic load balances continue and go to the progress give a name and pick something all of that good stuff okay so i've done that already so let's go back again so that's for what virginia i did exact same thing let me go back let me go back to sydney so i want to go back to sydney okay i'll go back to sydney i'll go back to ec2 right now as it comes up when I click EC2, I have both Web Server 2 and Web Server 1 Sydney, they're both running, okay? And also on EC2, when I come here, I come all the way down to the right side, load balancers, 
I created a, what, a Sydney Elastic Load Balance. Now here, when I click Instance, okay, I just pick only one of them. I'm using one of the web server. It doesn't matter. I could have picked two. So it's in service, okay? Now if I highlight that, if I go to Description, and this is my lovely long DS, DNS for Sydney. So I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to open new tab and I'm going to paste it here and see that it says web server Sydney one. Okay. So if I click refresh, it just shows that one because I have only one web server. Okay. So right now you see that this domain name and the other domain name is much, much, but harder. Okay. So in order to resolve this, we can use route 53. So let me show you how the route 50 goes. I go to route 53 right here, which gets through here. On the last class, on last things, last video, I'll show you that on the domain, you have registered domain or pen name. And registered domain, you can see your what? Domain name registered already, okay? So if in order to do that, you have to say registered domain. If you want, if you haven't done that, you can go through that and pick something. So I already have done that, and I'll show you in the last class. Now let me go to the dashboard again. Then I go hosted zone. So this is my domain name is right here, asmwebtest.click. Now look at this. From last class, I created what? A record. I create a record when I come here. This is my alias name is A record. And then what we cover, we cover simple that. So that means what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to delete this. Then I'm going to do something called what? Wait, I'm going to do from scratch. So in last class, instead of typing this whole thing right here, which is alias is, which is this one. All of that good stuff right here, okay? I can type in what? Click. So let me type this. Uh, ASM test. Hold on a second. ASM web test dot click. When I do that, see I get same what? Result as what? This is website. When I click refresh, it goes back to two and three. Two and what? Three. Again, I have done that in the last what? Lab. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this. Now I'm going to show you the weighted one. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to delete this record set because I want to do everything from scratch. So I'm going to delete this. Say yes. So we're going to create what? New record. Here, I'm going to leave it what? A blank and naked what we call our domain name right here. So I'm not going to put nothing, I'm going to put alias in it right here. Now notice that when I click here, target, both my Virginia and Sydney comes up. First, I'm going to put what? Virginia. Why Virginia? Because according to my this, I wanted my Virginia to get what? 70% of traffic, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Put a Virginia. I'm going to make it what? Weighted value. This is the key part, okay? The weight. Okay, here, I'm going to put what? 70 the site ID, I'm going to type it what? Virginia primary. Okay. I'm going to give that name. We're not going to do any help to it like that. I'm going to say what? Create. Okay. So when I go to the right side, you're going to see weight is what? 70. Okay. And the name is called what? Virginia primary. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing again. Okay. Then I'm going to say what? Create a record set. Then instead of this, I'm going to naked. I'm going to say aliens. Now here, target, I'm going to say what? Sydney. I'm going to say what? Weighted. All right. Here, I'm going to put what? 30. And the site ID I said as Sydney. Okay. Sydney. Then I come down and I will say create. So basically what I have, let's see, I've created, instead of typing the whole thing, I have two, two air record. One is for what? One is for, we come here, 30% for Sydney, the other one is for Virginia. Okay, that means every time you type that, 70% of the traffic is going to go to where? To Virginia, 30% goes there. So let's test that right now. So I'm going to click that. Again, the best way to do, same person goes to Virginia, keep pressing enter. I press enter. See, right now is going to elastic between two and three. That's why we had it. 
Virginia, Virginia, Virginia. We just keep, yeah, keep pressing, 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 pressing until you see what Sydney. So what that means, like 70% goes Virginia and the 30% supposed to go to where Sydney. So we're gonna try that, try, try and get try it. Eventually, you have to try that. Eventually, when you do that, it will work. Sometimes this doesn't take time because of the caching. Maybe your service provides cache long time or the other places cache long time. So as you see, this will eventually will come eventually. We hope so. So let's just give it time. But let me summarize what happened. Then I'll try it again. Again, what I did, I have a region. 10.0.0.16 for Northern Virginia. Then I have a Sydney 1.9.2.1.6.0.0. Here I have one web server. I put in one Elastic. Here I use web server 2 and 3. Again, understand that all of these web servers are supposed to be exact same thing. But I put the numbers, the letter Sydney or Virginia so I can see that. So anytime a customer goes to this site, a customer goes to where? Oops, I would have to here. All right, Virginia still says Virginia. It has not go to see. Every time the customer goes there, 30% traffic goes. I'm saying 70% goes to Virginia, and the rest goes to where? That. So this is the way to do that. Now again, I go back again. I go back to Route 53. What I did, I went. I purchased domain name, which is called Asian website things. When I went and I said hosted zone. I click here I created what two record right here a record right here and one of them is 30% weight goes to Sydney I call it Sydney because that's the Sydney one is and this one goes to Virginia 70% of that goes to Virginia okay and then again when I go back EC2 if you go back I'm just refreshing in Sydney when I go here I have what the um, right here load balancing right here all right that's my Sydney load balancing if I go back to again you and I we're not going to memorize what the DNS name we have to use what D we don't memorize this long name we have to resolve that in order to use that you can use route 53 then also I go back to the uh, Virginia site. Let's go to Virginia right here. Then I go back to EC2. Right here, I have it. I go back to EC2 on the right side. So I go load balancing, and this is my Virginia is, which is pointed to two. Right here, you see that instance is connect is pointed to web server three and two in Virginia so let's try that let's hopefully that goes to what it see hasn't done it because it takes time anyway I just want to show you that's how you do it now in case if you have a question or comment you can go to our website at asmed.com slash l as Larry that's our home pages that takes you to a landing page then you're going to see our CompTIA courses you're going to see our Amazon courses instead of Amazon courses we offer different form. We have bootcamp, evening, all that good stuff. And let's say bootcamp or evening classes. Uh, next bootcamp is going to start coming soon. As you see that we have different dates here, August and so on. Okay. And also, if you go on the blogs, we have a bunch of what AWS blogs that you can see it or watch it again. Now we have Elastic. We have the load balancing. We have the it, VPC and all that good stuff and again if you go to also to YouTube or Google Plus or Pinterest or or Instagram can get all of that and here's our information I hope this was good and enjoy rest of your day and week